Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create a simple clock animation in Adobe After Effects without using any plugin. You can download the project file. The download link is in the video description. So, let's get started. First of all, go to freepick.com and search the clock. Here you can get lots of free vector files for the clock. But I am going with the red one. Just download it, then open it in Adobe Illustrator. I have made few changes to the clock vector file to make everything on its separate layer. Now, go to File menu and click Save. Let's open Adobe After Effects. Go to the File menu, then Import. Select the clock vector file and click Import. Change the import kind type to Composition. Set the footage dimensions to layer size. As you can see our clock composition is created. Double click on it. Our clock is imported in the Adobe After Effects. And here you can see all of our layers. Click the center and clock main layer. Then lock them. We are going to animate these three layers. Go to the layer menu, then new, and select the null object. Rename it to control or whatever name you like. Right click on the control layer, go to the effects then expression controls, and select the angle control. Select the control layer and press the E key on the keyboard to open effects. Select the seconds, minutes, and hours layer then press the R key on the keyboard to open rotation properties. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click the little stopwatch icon to add an expression. Drag the pick whip to the control angle effect. Just like this. Again hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click the stopwatch icon to add an expression on minute rotation. Also, drag the pick whip to the control angle. After the expression just type divided by 60. Let's connect the hours rotation to the control angle effect. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click the little stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then just drag the pick whip to the angle. After the expression, just type, divided by, open parenthesis, 60 multiply by 12, then close parenthesis, that's it. Let's rotate the control angle to see the changes. As you can see our clock's arms are rotating in the wrong direction. So, let's fix the anchor point. Select the seconds arm, pick the anchor point tool from the toolbar, and change the anchor point position just like this. Also, change the anchor points of minutes and hours arms. Let's see the changes. Cool. Now, the clock sums working perfectly. Make sure, you are at the first frame. 
then add a keyframe on angle. Go to the last frame and change the angle rotation to one round. Cool. Let's increase the rotation speed. Just change the last keyframe value to 100 rounds. Let's increase the speed to 500 rounds. This is how you can control the clock speed. If you would like to change the clock color, it's a very simple process. Go to the layer menu, then new, and select adjustment layer. Drag the adjustment layer just above the clock main layer. Rename it to color control. Go to effects and presets, and search the effect hue and saturation. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Just change the master hue value. Select the control layer, and press U key on the keyboard to reveal all keyframes. Change the last keyframe value back to 1. Let's see what we have created so far. Cool. Looks good to me and I am happy with the results. I hope this was helpful, and that you've learned a lot from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.